Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to the fifth episode of my journey to, well, competency in Punjabi. This is turning out to be a lot more difficult than uh, I originally anticipated, even though I have been trying to become fluent for a while. Um, but anyway, I just want to talk about a few things here in the beginning before we get into responding to some of your feedback, which is additional greetings. And that is first... Uh, just a kind of like a disclaimer or some, really something you should know about before you start learning a new language, whatever your target language may be. Uh, the idea of this podcast is about comprehensible input, which means you see us talking here, but there's a lot more that goes into it outside of this. If you want to become competent in your target language, you need to be practicing listening to it a lot. So what we're trying to do here is create a, a resource for you. Uh, we have other resources planned, but right now this is uh, our central goal. And outside of this, I'm do my best to speak in Punjabi always because that's how you will become fluent in it, by forcing yourself to think in the language, by forcing yourself to always try to express in that language because that's how you overcome those barriers. You know, that's how a child learns. They have no other option than <laughs> to try and speak the language that they're hearing. And when you're constantly exposing yourself to new words and new grammar, it, you will pick it up, uh, whether that's through thorough studying or just submerging yourself in it. So anyway, I also wanted to say uh, to any of the, a little disclaimer to any of the tutors or anyone who has been tutored before or anyone who is a tutor and is like ah, fuming about <laughs> our kind of unorthodox uh, teaching and learning style. Um, I think the biggest part about tutoring that isn't stressed enough is what I was just talking about, submerging yourself in the language. Because the problem I experienced when I was being tutored was I was being exposed to new vocab and grammar, but I wasn't practicing that or going out of my way to try and think in the language uh, as I should have. And that com completely stunted my growth. So I did want to just put that disclaimer out. It's not, I'm not blaming the tutors. I'm saying it's a whole mentality that needs to be shifted. Um, so anyway, yeah, so with that out of the way, <laughs> let's get to the new greetings. Okay, so um, some of the feedback we've had is we covered a uh, very generic greeting, hi, hello, but we also based a lot of emphasis on um, religious-based greeting, greetings, right? So yeah. the feedback I had from some of the people I know, they said, you know, there are a lot of uh, neutral greetings that we use. In fact, we use them more. So one is uh, when you meet someone and you want to sort of welcome them, you say, Ji ayanu. Ji ayanu. Ji ayanu. Can you guess what it might be? Well, I know Ji is respect. Mm -hmm. Ayanu. Respect to you. So what is, uh, well, tu or tu si is not used here, right? right. So hint is aya. What does a mean? That's the thing, I, I don't remember what aya means. So simple thing is a is to come, ja is to go. Like, main janda ha, main on diya. You know, I'm coming, okay. I'm going. So ji, aya, nu. Uh, like, I respect that you came. Oh, okay. Aya, nu is something about coming, right? So it's just, um, it's just that phrase is used like that. So when you meet someone, you're very happy, overjoyed to see somebody who said, Ji aya nu, you know, so it's a neutral, non-religious, uh, you know, way of greeting. And then um, if someone's leaving, uh, we say, uh, remember we said the Muslim greeting of Allah Hafiz, Khuda Hafiz, you remember? Yeah. But a very neutral greeting is Rab Oh, Rab Rabraka. You may have heard me say yeah, that. I yeah, say that. I sort of have fallen in love with this. Rab Rakha. Rab, Rab is God. And Rab is God in a sort of a very neutral, like, you know how we say God, maybe more Christianity, the English greeting, and then Allah, Vaheguru, um, and then uh, Hindu greeting might be Prabhu. There are many ways of uh, addressing God in Hinduism, you know. So Rab somehow is a very Punjabi way of saying it. And Rab means God. Okay. So you may have heard me say that when I'm upset or something. Hi, Rabba. Do you remember that? Yeah, of course. how could I forget that? <laughs> so, Rabba is like the conjugation of Rab, you know, when I'm talking to God. 
so but rub alone means god so rub rakha means may god protect you rakha is someone who protects you oh, wow how sweet <laughs> yeah so i kind of just like it and then um uh, thank you meherbani meherbani so thank you can also you can say tanwad or dhanwad which is similar to hindi dhanyawad um but i again i like meherbani say that meherbani yeah that just means thank you right. and how do you pronounce the other one uh tanwad tanwad yeah or really dhanwad tanwad yeah like for we, we can say i'm very thankful to you to hada bahut bahut tanwad tanwad like okay so many thanks to you to hada yours right bahut bahut tanwad to hada bahut tanwad So, so aren't you saying that they have the thing like it's your thanks yeah something like that but that's, that's how we say that's really interesting yeah, yeah or just tanwad you can say or i like meherbani i just find it musical so i like that meherbani mm-hmm. yeah meherbani is it sounds nice or shukriya is another word it's an urdu word but people will use it it's a cultural word again shukriya shukriya yeah that's thank you that's the urdu word for thank you Shukriya. Oh, I always thought that no, was like more of a celebratory word, like shukr, like a uh, shukrvar. Shukr, you know, shukrvar is like, Friday. I, but like shukr is like happy. Shukr is like being grateful, like something good happens, or you passed in your exam and you got like an A plus, and you can just say Rabba tera shukr. Oh, <laughs> like okay, that. I understand. Rabba God tera so shukr. In like, Urdu they say shukriya. Shukriya as thank okay. you. Yeah. And the Shukrvar is the it's it's for Friday is dedicated to the planet Venus. So Shukr is Venus in okay. Hindu astrology. So it just happened to, <laughs> to be Yeah. Uh, But it's not Shukr, it's Shukr. So yeah, I don't want to again confuse you take you there, but so the other feedback was so these were the greetings and then some blessings. Um and then some uh, another sort of a goodbye slash blessing is when you're ending the conversation and you will say hasde wasde ro hasde wasde ro hasde wasde ro has is to laugh was uh, wasde is like sort of living a good life wasna is to um live fruitfully sort of yeah yeah so hasde is a conjugation of a bunch of people laughing wasde is a bunch of people living having a good life so you're saying you know okay you know keep keep smiling keep laughing living a good life so uh, an older person might say that hasde wasde ro like my friends when i talk to them on the phone particularly long distance friends yeah so we talk like every few months and we'll say chinga fer hasde wasde ro rab rakha It's like it reminds me of like live laugh love <laughs> kind of yeah, <laughs> sort yeah. Of we literally say that so has they was they ro and um, what does ro mean again raho means raho like reha raho raho is like do that <laughs> 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 it's sort of yeah uh, they're very uh, for, straightforward <laughs> so if i want to tell you ethan um keep doing your work so i'll say ethan apna kaam kar de raho raho mm-hmm. rende kar de raho yes but, but isn't that the same as rende re re it's the conjugation Rehende. of that word rehnda oh. raho raho, uh, raho is um, for again plural or respectful Anji. okay yeah but these were some of the greetings um that friends had given feedback that please make sure you talk about them so excellent yeah so you you'll hear them If something else comes to my mind um oh yeah one more khush raho khush raho mm-hmm. this is someone older person will say khush raho khush you remember happy yeah so happy so days. just continue being happy continue being happy and then another one will they'll say jug jug jio jug jug jio jug jug jio so jug means a century okay so jug jug jio jio is to live so this is may you live a century <laughs> <laughs> And when you really want to put an emphasis on something, you say it twice. So instead of saying "jug jio," "jug jug jio," like "may you live a century and a century," like that. So okay. These are classic grandma grandpa blessings. 
or an older person blessing a child that you know may you live long and you know be happy you know. <laughs> and they can all be said together interesting yeah so but you don't need to worry about blessings right now so yeah it's uh, good to know though so mm-hmm. not confused when <laughs> yeah. i get blessed mm-hmm. it's all good to know who or what blessing you're receiving <laughs> like you know here in america we say take care that's so common yeah you yeah. know see you later take care um i think take care is probably the most common one that even most people who learn that what else do you say when you say bye have a good one have a good one yes um have a good one they're a little more distant i think no but it's still because like mm-hmm. i don't know how common some of them are i guess because uh, i haven't experienced that but I mean, I've never heard someone in America tell me to live for a century, <laughs> you know? I mean, do other people say it or is it just like a grandma grandpa blessing? Mm, jug, jug, um, I don't know. But or I like have... continue being happy. They're more emotional, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like have a good one. It's more like, you know. But it's a positive vibe. Yeah, it's like I, I don't know you, but I don't wish anything bad upon you. You know, continue like. Yeah vaguely have a good time you know? yeah so but this is more like continue being happy and pleasant and live long so these are more with people that you know like friends right? oh okay so these are not that distant uh, or formal uh, sort of goodbyes so if when you don't know someone um you will tend to say just changa fair you know you won't say all that okay so, so keep it simple this is more with family and friends yeah so what would you say to okay. a close oh, friend here in sense. America? Um, a close friend? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just have a good one. Same thing? Yeah. I mean, I guess some people, they're more hmm. like they're, they're more into the greetings and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. So if it comes to your mind, you can share it. Yeah. We apologize for the dog barking in the background, by the way. <laughs> Kutta. That's epic. He's, sometimes he doesn't sleep. So. Kutta ponk da hai. Kutta ponk da hai? Mm-hmm. Ponk is to bark. Ponk. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> ponk. <laughs> what do you mean? What's so funny? <laughs> okay, ponk. so Punjabi is a funny language. Ponk is really. It sounds like a P, but it's so really a P. Epic ponk reha hai. Ponk reha. Exactly. Epic ponk reha hai, or ponk da hai. The dog barks, or the dog is barking. <laughs> It's really B H sound, Baba, Baba. So it's Bonk da hai. Bonk. Yeah. No, that's. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's hilarious. So that's that's your classic comprehensible Bonk. input, right? Now you will never forget it. <laughs> oh, that's that's so good. But yeah. anyway, mm-hmm. so let's move on to my first question about mm-hmm. Punjabi, mm-hmm. and that is, how do I deliver a command in Punjabi? Um. Give Give me an example. So. I guess, like, give me that cup. Menu, give me that cup. Menu, o cup, deo. Deo. Oh, deo. Anji. Or de do. Or deo is again, I think it's like a, one of those fast conjugations. So, we're, we're going to use Punjabi that you can use. You're not going to go write a, an essay in Punjabi, right? So, deo. you're trying to learn spoken Punjabi. Anji. So, yeah. menu... O cup deo, menu e phone deo. O cup deo. Mm-hmm. So. And it's a respectful way of, of, of so talking. So if I'm telling you mm-hmm. to like put something down, like your phone or something. To see apna phone rakho. Rakho. Deo. Rakho. Yeah. Anji, me samajai. Samajai, chalo, hun bolo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes sense. I've heard those words so many times. Yeah. Deo and rakho. Yeah. Othe rakho. Keep it there. There go, there. Othe, othe is there. Athe is here, right? Yes. Tu si athe betheo. Tu si athe betheo. Betheo. Mm-hmm. Me athe betheo. Me athe betheo. Does that? Yeah, that makes sense. That. I've heard I've heard you say so I'm sitting bete, here yeah but cha bete No it's not bete this is bete so be- bete is to sit bete is to sit yeah beteo or bete what you confusing it was bete be- bete is like son 
like my child male child mm. be te be te yeah Be-te. it's like the capital t of english yeah but what i said was me ethe bethia it's like the t sound t yeah the one that doesn't exist bethia t bethe Okay. Yeah, and it's not bete, it's be. It's the dulama. Be. Yeah. Hanji. Okay. So, to see, ote bete o. Mhm. Bete o. Bete o. Mhm. Bete o. Mhm. Bete is to sit. Always the respectful conjugation, like you are sitting there. That's oh, the word. Hanji, yeah. yeah. Hanji. So, to see, ote bete o. Nay, me ate bete o. <laughs> Hanji, but hmm. me want to see mm-hmm. ete or ote beteo. Me chonda. Want is chonda. Chonda. Hmm. Hanji, me chonda hmm. to see ote beteo. Tike. <laughs> so the t okay. the tike t is the same as bete. That sound. That's the one. Be so bete. 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 Mm-hmm. Beta, beta. Like if you want your dog, for example, to sit down, so you can say "epic tu bat" tu or "epic bet. bat" sit down bat. So you bat just, is to sit. Is that the pattern for like all verbs? You just like kind of cut it. No, but that's a command to a dog, so you can be very specific. Sit. But what if you want to be respectful to "epic"? Treat him like a person. Epic tu si beto. <laughs> okay, I understand. Get it? Yeah. So, <laughs> so the O sound at the end of the, uh, the the word verb, it just makes it respectful and plural. So remember, respect and plural go together. Okay. It's like you're giving the respect of a bunch of people to one person. So that's how I would remember it. I understand. Okay. Yeah, like epic, tum betai. So epic is sitting. Betai is a is a male dog. If epic was female, epic tu betai. An epic, respectful, epic, to see beteo, and um, something like that. Anji, miss my jai. Okay, both of the up. Both of the up. Okay. Hun, hmm. Asi, hmm. Punjabi, hmm. um, conversation. Galbat. Ah, Galbat, Anji. Hmm. Hun asi hmm. Punjabi gal, uh, galbat hmm. karde han. Karde han. Both vadiya. Karde han. Shuru oh. karo. Hmm. Karde han. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, karde han. Karde han. Hmm. Okay. We're doing it, so it's Anji. karde han. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Satsri akal. Satsri akal. Kya al? Kya al chal? Main thika. Thika. Do you see ki meo? Main vi thika. Main thik thak ha. Tik-tak. Sunea? Have you heard that? Sunea? Tik-tak? Ah, uh, nahi. So, you know in Punjabi, so this is a cultural tidbit. So in Punjabi, we love, love, love to rhyme. As you may or may not have heard me say. So instead of saying, main thik ha, I would say, main thik thak ha. So what is thak? <laughs> oh, hanji. <laughs> main... Remember? Yaad. Yaad ha. Mein yaad ha. Mein nu yaad. Aya. Mein nu. Okay. Mm-hmm. Menu yaad aya. Mm-hmm. Ki yaad aya? Da. Mm-hmm. Tiktok. <laughs> <laughs> tiktok. No, I've heard you say it before. <laughs> it's it's like Tiktok, but it's really uh, Tiktok. I it came back. Tiktok. Oh, tik. So, so many times casually people will say, Ki haal hai? Ki me ho? You know? Yeah. So I'll say, Me Tiktok ha. So Tiktok is kind of like, I am not doing great. I'm kind of, you know, like in the middle. So you're my teak talk on oh, all the way. Oh, finally. Deep. Now I know what in the middle is. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. So, my teak talk on. So, it kind of is a conversation opener that something is not all the way good. So, you can say, Kiga. You know, when someone says, my teak talk on, like in that tone, then you can say, Kiga. Like, what's up? Remember, <laughs> Gal? Yeah. yeah. Kiga. Bus at day. At day. At day means mm. just like that. Nay. Ki ki at day. Mm, nay, kuch khas nay. Kuch khas nay. Kuch kuch da matlab ki. Something. Ah, uh, Something and khas is important. So I said kuch khas nay. Mm. Like nothing important. 
Nej. Um, eh, ik mm-hmm. gudsch importante. Gas. Eh, ik Nej, gas. Me ik, ed- ik gudsch gasse. Nej, gudsch gas nej jag iten. Me edde ed- bolja. Ja. Ik? Nej. Ik nej? Nej. Gudsch gas nej, me edde ed- bolja. So just like that I said it. Tick tock. Nej. Bar. Mm. Me pata. Mm. Aj hmm. to see kam kar hmm. deo. Mm-hmm. Aj me kam kita si. Hanji. Hmm. Kam kaase. Kam nee? thik hai. Yeah. Par kam kaase. Kam uh, important hai. Khaas hai. Mm-hmm. Ik. Ik kaas. Ik kuch kaas hai. Haan. Ik khaas kam kita me. Aj. Hanji. Thik hai. Te me pata. Mm-hmm. To see. Menu pata. Oh menu. Menu mm-hmm. pata. Hmm. Uh, to see um, Kutte mm-hmm. Ser mm-hmm. Jamasi Jandi si mm-hmm. Jandi si Nii, Karandi si I took a... Karandi? Karandi because I made him do it like Karandi, karandi si yeah. Anji Par Angreji mm-hmm. Nei bol Nei bol diya Mei nei bol ni Like don't no. speak To see nei bol do Mei thik hai Mei Angreji nei bol di so you know, I want to tell the viewers something. <laughs> I do want to share with the with the viewers that you know it's really hard to um, you know it's one thing that yeah let's learn Punjabi but for my from my perspective I have gotten so used to speaking English it's 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 very tough yeah sometimes to remind myself to speak in Punjabi and I think it's not me a lot of parents get into that situation yeah. and it's tough for me too because sometimes I don't want a reminder because it's <laughs> difficult for me to express myself yeah. in Punjab- you know I grown up my whole life only speaking English so I mean I, I have a grandmother at home who doesn't speak English and she speaks Portuguese so I, I know a little bit so I'll try to speak to her but that's only but you know she has to speak in Portuguese you know yeah. it's difficult to force yourself to speak in a language that you're not fully competent in mm-hmm. when there's another language right there that <laughs> you're, you're very versed in so that's something to keep in mind it is a struggle but but Ethan and I you know uh, that's part of our pact that we are going to speak in our target language yeah. which right now is Punjabi so main, um, I'll try I'll try that I will try to speak in your Punjabi with you very good okay so, what uh, do you do today? I go to gym, I go to gym, yes, I go to gym, I go to gym, I is to come, I go to gym, I go is go Gaya is went. Renda is doing. Hanji. Hanji. Me sat vaje gym yasi te me urgent care yasi kyunke mera chess chatti mera chatti um which dard si oh mera chatti which dard dard is pain dard hanji mera chatti which dard si Par doctor mm-hmm. um gal mm-hmm. doctor da gal ne ne denal oh hanji me doctor denal gal kite or kiti si te us da gal Mera Chatti 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 mm-hmm. Tika Si mm-hmm. So, so the matlab? Mm-hmm. So, you can actually say so in So <laughs> uh, Me, me Tika Baut vadiya, Ethan Te Te Ag- Agle mm-hmm. Or no, 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 no. Fir me um kar hmm. uh, yasi or kar ayasi. You came home. Hanji me kar ayasi mm-hmm. te me 
um, gardening, gardesi, mm-hmm. teme, um, video, channel video, <laughs> upload, gardesi, gardasi, mm-hmm. because you're talking about yourself, tika, gardasi, uh-huh. bas, deko, hmm. ik, do, din, jar, punch, punch, kuch, kas, yeah. Punch kas kam kite? No, no, no. Kas important? Uh huh. Punch kuch kas hai. Me aj me karde, or aj me karda punch kuch kas. So you're trying to say me, you did five important things? Hanji. So aj me punch kas kam. So when you say kas, it has to be five important uh, jobs kam kite. No, but Jim Kas er, Jim hmm. Kam Nea mm-hmm. Jim Bohot um, Activity Hanji, but Jim Bohot Fun eh? No, but for me, uh, Kam Kam is just an activity too, not just an actual work. Ano? Kam is activity. Ki Kam Ki Taj, like that. So I can say, Aj me Rasoi Vich Kam Ki Taj. Kam just means uh, uh, some activity. Uh, so I can say, my kitchen which kam kita. Doesn't mean that I was working like as a job in the kitchen. I was working in the kitchen. Rasoi is kitchen. So if I'm not working at my job, aj me kar which rasoi which kam kita, khana banaya. Right? That's also kam work. Hanji. Like that. So it's kind of like a. So just a side question hmm. Do Punjabis dread doing work? Because I've heard, like, mm-hmm. I, when I say dread, I mean, like, uh, in America, for example, Western culture. Well, mm-hmm. I don't know about all Western culture, but at least in America. Mm-hmm. There's, like, this, oh, Monday is terrible, I have to go to work. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this, like, mentality about work is, mm-hmm. just, ah, mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? Does that exist in Punjabi culture? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, no one obviously is like, oh, I can't wait to work. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, when you call all your activities work... Uh-huh. I'm just wondering where that comes from. Uh, it's it's a very interesting question because there's a word for not working. It's called Vela. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So it's like we always make fun of people. We call them Vele Log. Log is people. Log. Vele Log. Vele Log is people who don't have any job. Okay. So they have some source of income, what we Americans call now financial freedom, right? Yeah. It's a big thing. So, Vele Log is who have that. They're born into it or whether, whatever their source of income is. Maybe they have so much land and, you know, they're, somebody's working on the land and they're getting the money, right? So, they are just sitting and counting the money. I don't know. So, Vela, that word, does exist, that concept. So, but to work is considered good um, because, especially in the Sikh religion that I follow, so Guru Nanak said, you know, work hard and then you know help someone pray to god so these things are from guru nanak so work mm-hmm. hard is is looked uh, upon as something good i so, see to, so yeah, to not so it's work like is a, looked down on a positive culture or a, po- a positive cultural feeling towards work work yeah and if yeah. you're really that means it's kind of like uh, laughable <laughs> like if you somebody doesn't have a job oh the villa <laughs> you know, has nothing to do. Yeah. Well, I can tell the way you like. I've heard you say "vele" before. So. Vele, but if someone say, calls me, my friend calls me and says, "Hey, what you're up to? Na, ki kar de ho? And I can say, "Ma, vele." <laughs> like if I have a day off, vele, nothing. <laughs> so it's um. How funny. Yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. No, it does. So huh. I also know that in some cultures, hmm. the idea of burnout Mm -hmm. like you know people say they could get burned out from Mm -hmm. working doesn't exist is that the case in Punjabi culture as well or do people say they get burned out Hmm. never I don't even know the translation of burned out (laughs) so people don't get burned out um I yeah I've never heard that in Punjabi culture that burned out I'd have to really think over it Hmm. so um it's a hard working culture because um it's an agricultural state so people always worked in in their farms growing wheat and rice and so yeah. on so there's okay. no six months of snow that you there's nothing you can do right 
So the the culture was always you're doing something. Okay. Yeah. I see. Now that's really interesting. So I think mm. that's a good ending point. But now you have two things to find. Mm. What burned out means in Punjabi and what relaxed <laughs> means in Punjabi. So you better relax. find them. I know, I know relax. Oh, really? It's just, yeah, it's moja. Like moj, meaning moj is the word that comes to my mind. Moj. Mojai moja. Mojai moja. Yeah. So moj I've heard you say that before, so yeah. you just forgot it? Again, if someone calls me, uh, what are you doing? Ano, ki kar de ho? Mojai moja. Like, mojai moja. 100% relaxation. So again, yeah. when you want to stress something, you repeat it twice. Like thoda thoda, you know? Moji. Tik tak, jug jug jiyo, mojai moja. <laughs> moja is like non stop fun. Mojai moja. Uh, no, I always love that word. It sounds so good. <laughs> it's a feel good too. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, mm-hmm. thank you for sticking around this long if you did. <laughs> uh, so we're aiming to make the videos more, mm-hmm. or to include more comprehensible input in the videos. So let us know what you think of that. Mm-hmm. Um, Again, we apologize for Epic. I guess we'll have to include him next time. <laughs> I got he, re- used to it. he really wants to be in here. <laughs> but even though he was sleeping the whole time. <laughs> anyway, though. Um, yeah, so let us know what you think. And... Satsuriya kal. Rabraka. Rabraka.